and it is because it's my story of being pregnant as you can like I said before as you can tell by the title I am 17 and pregnant it's 17 weeks today and I actually find out the gender of my baby on Saturday for a gender reveal which I am so excited how am I putting this on because I've lost like the pin like you know like the pin that like connects it so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to put it on but then apart from that I shall be ready for this party hold <laughs> <laughs> it no, just do it. Come on. Who's got a knife? Who's got a knife? No, I don't know. No. A lighter, a lighter. A lighter, no. Mark. Fag. What? What? Oh, for God's sake. Come on, Marcus. Marcus. Oh. <laughs> uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Come on, find it. Oh, oh my God! Oh, hold on. No! Okay, hold on, I need to do the filming oh, for Rain. Oh, yeah, come on then. So, where is it going to come Five. out? Five. Where is it coming Four. out? Look at that. It's like, should we just start hospital but they've told me to go and walk as I'm in labour and they're saying that the baby can be here within a few hours just waiting for a midwife to come and examine me to see how far dilated I am now so they can move me onto a different ward but so I'm on the monitor again where it's seeing how far apart my contractions are as you can see over here and it's also to heartbeat as you can see the time is 8 So they're about to check me to see how far dilated I am again and if I'm four centimetres dilated they're moving or changing my ward aren't they Marcus? I'm now four centimetres so they're gonna break my waters. Still no sign of the baby. <laughs> It's taking forever to come. So we're in the labour ward now, and I'm hooked up in one of us. So I've had an epidural, but it's not the spine epidural, and it's like I dose it myself. I dose myself with, and it just makes my legs go a little bit numb, but I can still move them. So it's not like the spine epidural where it completely like numbs you from the waist down. So I'm in active labour now. I'm seven centimetres dilated. Here's Marcus. He's more nervous than me. There's my mother. Get the chair ready so she can get some sleep because my next check is at one o'clock and it's currently, I don't know what the time is. It'll be on this way. <laughs> Thank you. 
Amy is in labor. She is taking some gas and air at the moment. She's doing really well. Four centimeters dilated. Um, Amy's having some gas in here, which keeps making her have a little giggle now and again. As you can see, that little smirk on her face. The midwife said she might have a small baby, and Amy's like, I've got a small baby. But Amy wanted a small baby, she don't want a big baby. Yeah, mummy and daddy together. Marcus looks like he's in absolute shock. This is the baby's heart rate. As you can see, this is all the paper stuff that comes out, show contractions. She's having one right now on some gas and air. Still in labour, randomly on her phone. Marcus is just being Marcus. He doesn't quite know what he's doing. There's the dad to be, bouncing on a blue waiting patiently, probably not actually knowing what to do, but yeah. This is me and Amy, just waiting for this little thing here to <laughs> pop out to say hello. This is Marcus sleeping on the floor, looks very comfortable. Half and half asleep, bless her. She's doing good. Look at these sexy socks. They're lovely. Go up her leg to there. Very nice, very nice. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That is fantastic. Right, she's actually giving birth now, so I'm going to stop recording. It wasn't even as painful as I thought. You've done it. The contractions hurt more. Hmm. Here's your daddy, Jaden. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy. Get down there. Yeah. He's being weighed. This is Amy and her newborn son, Jaden, weighed 7.1 pounds. He was born at 6.24 a.m. She only started pushing properly at six o'clock and she had him within 24 minutes. And what a privilege it was to watch her. She did an amazing job and she is gonna be an amazing mum. <laughs>